But anyway, going back to rational fears. Okay, okay. Mm. So, like, I, I remember, like, think I, I was. Have I was, we said our fears on the podcast before? Like, our main fears? I don't know. No, we did an episode where we talked about our fears, right? We talked was about it stuff actually, like. Was it clickbait, though? No, we, we, we talked about. <laughs> what was like, I scared of? Huh? What was I scared of? Like, tight spaces. Or I remember we talked oh, about. Yeah, I did, yeah, I did, we yeah, talked yeah, about, like, crawling into tight spaces. Yeah, yeah, because like, you were talking about the cave story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, I remember, like, I, I just realized this where, as I was taking another piss, where most of my irrational fears come from. Um, and yeah, it is from horror movies, right? Yeah. And it's specifically from horror movies that I would watch as a kid. And that's, I think that's why like, I fucking detest horror movies. Cause I remember like most of the horror movies I've watched in my life are between the age of like five to 10 years old, right? Mm -hmm. And the reason for this is like, every time I'd go to my cousin's house, He'd, he'd put on a horror movie, right? right. How did it start is I'd go around to my cousin's house and be like, oh, can we go to Dragon Ball Z? Can we watch Dragon Ball Z? And every, and, I'd, and so like they'd put on Dragon Ball Z and I'd be fucking into it, right? Mm -hmm. And then all the parents would go off and do their own thing. And you, you know, they, 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 would, they would ask like the older cousins to take care of the kids. And yeah. as, soon as, as soon as the adults left, they were like, yo, you want to see a horror movie? You want to <laughs> you, you you see someone get butchered? And I'm like, no, that scares me. It yeah. gives me nightmares. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? Between like five and 10 years old. Fucking hell. <laughs> so, You're a little too young. Yeah, so I remember, I think I was like seven or something. And I will, I will like, what? okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the irrational fear, mm -hmm. okay? So every time I approach my car and it's just like in a, in a car park, could be empty, could be full, right? Um, but I'm by myself mm -hmm. and it's dark. Mm. First thing I have to do, check the back seat, make sure no one's in it. <laughs> Second thing I have to do, I have to like go under and check that there's nobody hiding underneath my car. Before. Do you check that every time? I, I like, like 90% of the time really? I do it because I don't feel safe unless I do it, right? What's and, gonna be under your car? Okay, here's, here's the A reason. A monster. Here, no, no, here's the reason why, okay? So when I was about, I can't remember, but like between five and seven, I think I was like seven years old. Mm. Uh, mm. I go to my cousin's house and of course it's like, God, it's a horror movie time again. I'm like, yeah. no, please, no. And it's like, no, it's we're, we're putting in the horror movie. And this time it's fucking Urban Legends. All right. Um, is it good? Is it it's, it's uh, I, I don't know if it's good. I was, it fucking scared the shit out of me as a kid. I'll oh, tell yeah, you that. And I've never watched it since. Oh. Um, but- uh, You yeah, might get it, PTSD if you watch it now. Honestly. Or maybe so, you'll overcome your fear. Or maybe, maybe. Yeah. It's it's like a slasher horror movie. So it was it was like, it was like 90. So that's when like slasher horror movies were in. Like so the that's, Scream era. Right? Yeah, the Scream yeah. era. So like that's, that's kind of the horror movie era that I grew up with. And that's the kind of horror movies that traumatized me. Yeah. Um, and I remember um, it was this guy, I can't remember the exact movie, the, the exact things that happened, but I remember it was surprise, surprise about urban legends. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, you'd have these urban legends that were spread out. And sometimes these urban legends would come true. I can't remember what the exact urban legends were, um, but I remember this one scene, um, it, was, it was a guy who was basically dressed up as death and he had a scythe. Right, 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 right. And so I, mean, I think part of the urban legend was that there would be this guy in the back of your car while you're driving. Uh, and this actually happened in the movie. There was there was this person driving the car and how he died was someone emerged from the back yeah. with a fucking scythe and just fucking chopped him up to death, right? right, right? right. And of course, as a kid, that fucking terrified me because I remember thinking, if if I ever get if I ever grow up and get my driver's license at any point <laughs> in the dark, someone could come up from the back seat and fucking stab me in the neck or fucking slice my neck open. I, 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 I kind of get and that. So, and so and so and so and so like that is just ingrained into yeah. my fucking mind. But the second, the second death in that movie, or maybe it might be the third or the fourth, I can't remember. Mm. So this so this rumor gets sped around, right? That uh, there's there's a guy in the back seat that you can you know there's there's a serial killer and this is how this person died. <clears throat> And so of course the fourth guy, he thinks he's better than this. He goes towards his car. He's a bit scared, but what does he do? He checks the back seat. Of yeah. course, he's like, <laughs> I, I beat the system. I, I beat the system. It's so dumb. Out of, out of nowhere, the guy is hiding underneath the car and slices his ankles, right? And then he starts fucking crawling away. And like, I, I remember this scene to this day. And yeah. that's why if I ever approach a car, I'm beating the system. <laughs> First thing I'm doing, I'm checking underneath the car. Second thing I'm doing, I'm checking. I'm checking the back seat. Right? That there, there is no. And like, but right. then what if death's I mean, like? 
Big, big look, plot look, twist, look. passenger look, seat. Look, 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 look. If there's a sequel, if there's like Urban Legends 2 where there's like, there's like someone adds on to this system, yeah. I'm fucked, right? right but if- until then, I'm checking underneath every car I go to and every back seat if I'm by myself. Cause I'm not getting my right. ankle sliced off. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> how did this man, not a nitpick, but yeah. how did they use a scythe in a car? What was this like a I don't know. SUV? Like I a mini scythe? Yeah, yeah. Well, how, this must have been a big scythe. Like, like, you can't swing it in a car. Like, the scythes are, are not short tools. Maybe a sickle? A sickle might have worked. I like how that's your first question and not how did he get into the car? Yeah, the first thing I was thinking, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thing I was thinking when he said this, I'm like, how did this man swing a scythe in a car? I can barely swing my arms in a car. <laughs> that's like, a good question. I should have asked that as a kid. Apart yeah. from, maybe if he, you know, he kind of like put it forward and then brought it backwards. But then <laughs> how would you slice it underneath? I feel like, if he's sent, you know, there's a lot of ways this could go wrong. You're being, you're being a little too like realistic here. Right, you know? right, 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 we, we first have to question, why is death in my car? Well, that's why I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I was gonna be scared until the, yeah. the many plot holes that were available. Yeah. I, I suddenly feel a lot safer. Irrational. Uh, yeah, I feel like, oh, this is good. You know, I, I feel like as an adult, you can uh, pick apart the plot holes in a lot of horror movies and that's, that they stop being scary. That's true. As yeah, a kid, uh, you're yeah, like, ah, oh, no, no, he's I, bleeding, he's <laughs> bleeding. What the fuck? I, I, get, I get that like backseat, like, Bullshit because like there's a lot of like Japanese horror films as well. That's like yeah. that's like a very cliche moment. The other one that scares me is uh and I hated this because my new place that I currently have yeah. has this, but in the bathroom, your mirror has a medicine cabinet. Oh <laughs> and, okay, you know, like okay. it's it's the thing of like you're brushing your teeth and then you know, you, the medicine cabinet's slightly yeah, open yeah, and yeah. then you close the medicine cabinet and then the monster is standing <laughs> yeah. behind you, right? It's like <laughs> I, every now and then I have that thing where like if, if I'm like in the dark and the medicine cabinet is open, before I close it, I just <laughs> they look behind me. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you like do you like take a single breath before you close? You're just like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm kind of like I see it open. I'm like, <sighs> okay, I'm good. <laughs> we good, guys. We good. Let's go. <laughs> I get that every now and then. I don't have like any rituals like that to like stop me from being scared of something like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just I feel like I I think to this day there's some part about me where it's like I'm still scared of the dark. Yeah. Right. Because for for, for whatever bullshit reason, right? Like yeah. it's not because it's like I'm afraid of the guy behind me, you know, I'm, as I'm at the medicine cabinet or whatever. But it's like you know, in the back of your head, in, in the back of your fucked up imagination somewhere, yeah. you're like, yeah, this is a possibility. Well, it's like yeah. when you're I don't yeah. know when you're sleeping and you're like, did I leave my door open? You know, yeah. You know you didn't, but now you're gonna go check. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're like, I thought I did, but I definitely didn't. But yeah. I'm gonna, but I have to check. Right, 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 right. It's kind of like that, where you like you make yourself think something is there, so now you have to check. Exactly. Yeah. Otherwise, you can't stop thinking about it. Yeah. I think I've had stuff like that with like, yeah, there's there could just be a monster on the other side of the bed if I turn around. <laughs> but I won't know unless I turn around. <laughs> Guess I won't turn around. <laughs> I, I have had thoughts like that, yeah. but I never actually like even when Put I it think into practice. even yeah. when I think like, oh, I could just like die if there was like a guy standing in my hallway with a knife. Yeah. I don't actually yeah. like think that he's gonna be there, but I check. But like I know you check just in case. But right? I know just there's no way in hell that someone's there. Yeah. But, yeah. but you just have to confirm yeah. it. Cause I, I I I also get that every now and again where it's like the most irrational thoughts. Um where, you know, sometimes there's you know, you close the door and you're like, maybe, maybe there's a guy on the other side. Maybe maybe there's someone in my house right now. Yeah. You know, I, I I don't know. And especially like especially in the nighttime and you like fucking you fucking hear something in the middle of the night <laughs> in, in like your living room or something yeah. and you're like I know there's nothing in my house, <laughs> but what if? So what was that? <laughs> so what if? I, I like. I'm pretty sure there's no ghosts in my house. I don't. You know. I'm, yeah. I'm like confident in my belief of ghosts that this place isn't fucking haunted yeah. or whatever. Even if you know there might be some haunted places. But well, I'm pretty sure this place is not isn't haunted. But then what the fuck was that noise? <laughs> like it could be the wind. Definitely not the wind. No, like, definitely the wind. Definitely not the wind. Like, it could be. <laughs> and then you, you start second guessing yourself, you know? Exactly. So, and I feel that like, especially recently with like some horror games I play, like I feel that just like resurfaced. Yeah, it's, it's not until you recently consume content like that, yeah. that you start to realize, oh yeah, I think I'm still afraid of this shit. Like, yeah. I remember after I played PT for the first time, yeah. like that made me so, like, I was like, hallways, lights on, <laughs> everywhere I go. <laughs> like, I'm not le- I'm not turning this shit off, fuck that. <laughs> it's like, so. it's like, it's so irrational. It's like, of course, fuck, she's not gonna be standing there at do, the end of the hallway. The irrational fear that someone who, who's close to you is like, not okay. And then you just text him like, are you okay? 
<laughs> I get that. I get yeah, that. Yeah, you're like, yeah. Sometimes. I, I had this weird dream. Just checking in that you're all right. It's like, you haven't texted me in a while, yeah. but we, we good? You good? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so sometimes I'm just like, sometimes you go into like a night out or like you hang out with someone and, then, and you're just like, they didn't, they said like 10 words less than what they usually said. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's something going on. They were they, they okay? blinking a lot more than usual. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought they were signaling something. Yeah, yeah. Say, uh, Morse code maybe? <laughs> Oh my god! It's no, so but weird. like, yeah, like I, I think part of the reason why I have so many lights on in my house is because it's because of irrational fears like this. Like my yeah. mum would fucking bollock me as a kid because every time my my mum and dad would go out, they'd come home to a house full of lights, <laughs> and they were like, "Go on, wasting stop wasting electricity!" electricity. Yeah. And, and and for the longest time, I think they just thought I would forget to turn off the lights, and I never just told them. No, I'm just actually scared. I'm just what, scared. What, what if there's like darkness, and what if there's something hiding in that darkness, mum? You don't know. I'm I'm in Bro, a, I'm in this died. house by them by myself. Yeah. You know? Squid Game, they died in the dark. Exactly. exactly. You never know. Exactly. What if Squid Game just happens in your room while you're sleeping? <laughs> You have to start defending yourself. Surprise squid game. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the trash taste camping. It's like when the lights went off. <laughs> when the fire went out, and it's just everyone was like, <laughs> get to reaching, the corner, get reaching to the for the closest the weapon. Oh I did come to the realization of course, not the realization, but you, I, like the appreciation of just lights. Right? <laughs> oh my God. God. Espe especially camping, especially camping, right? You, you really do appreciate lights and fire. The appreciation of light. Oh my God. <laughs> my Jesus Christ. You know, heat is pretty good, eh? Yeah. Uh, being, being warm is a uh, vital part. Yo, of light's life. pretty underrated. <laughs> yeah. you know, just, just some things you God's just- like, you know, clothes is actually <laughs> pretty useful. Honestly, they're pretty hard. They, they, they are. Yeah, no shit they are, can't. Look, I've, I've, I'm just saying, okay, I've never appreciated a hot shower more than after we came back from that camping trip. That was I, true. Could, I could just like turn on the hot water and immediately just warm myself up. Yeah. I'm just like, damn, man, this this, this shower is hitting different. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, is, it is hitting different, man. That was the best shower and sleep I had though, though when we good. came back. It was yeah. so good. Yeah, I, I actually oh, think God. that fixed my sleeping schedule because I've been getting up at like a reasonable time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Got back from exactly. that. Uh, ever since I, went, I, I dude, I knocked out at like nine p.m. Dude, I was, yeah. I was so done. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I'm oh, not no. staying up. Oh, no, no. <laughs> so yeah, anything else you guys want to bring up or anything? Nope. Just want to let you know that no clickbait in this episode. <laughs> we did actually almost die twice, three times if you include you know yeah. the the surprise attack from the bush. <laughs> yeah, God, God was this yeah. close to death yeah. from a surprise, <laughs> Jason. Almost Look. died from from getting scared by his own piss stream. I'm just saying, I love you, cuz, but uh, fuck you at the same time for. <laughs> Literally, like You're giving an asshole cousin, dude. Like, that's so <laughs> nah, cool. I, I love my cousin. Like, was, he, was he a teenager? Huh? Was he a teenager? Uh, he's seven years older than me, so he's oh, a teenager. Yeah, that's, that's pretty wild. He, he, he's yeah. the clo he's the closest thing I have to an older brother, and, and mm. that's thinking back. That's a very older brother thing. That to is do. a very older brother. I love thing you, guys. You you are like an older uh, you are like an older brother to me, but also, fuck you for showing me that all those fucking horror movies as a kid. <laughs> Oh, it's so terrifying. I, I, I remember the one thing is for some reason that sticks out in my mind, my old brother teaching me is like, yeah. you know what socks are for, right? And I was like, no, what are socks for? He's like, to clean up the, the messes that you spill on the floor. And I'm like, oh, what? Are you like, serious? Like, that makes a lot of sense. You're like like when, you, when you're holding a cup of tea and you yeah. spill it on the floor. You oh, just, just like step yeah, on it. Yeah, just step on it. <laughs> just use your sock. I was like, I was like, I was like, uh, I don't know if that's the dumbest thing ever or if it's an actual life hack. And I was like, you know what? That's kind of big brain. It's kind of big brain. If it's not like a big spill, obviously yeah, if it's yeah. big, don't just stop putting no, your- that's, yeah. a, that's an awful piece no, of advice. No, it's not. If it's a little bit, little spill. Just, if you have some thick socks no, too. Like there, that, is, there is nothing worse than wet socks. What, for like a brief moment? Yeah. Your body heat- well, how, 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 much water, how much water are we talking about? Yeah, like a tiny bit of spillage on yeah. like a cup of tea or something. And, or then or you, and then you rub it on the carpet to like warm it up and dry it off. <laughs> if, it's, if it's a spill, that you can actually feel on your like on your foot on the sole. I of your do foot. for a brief moment. I still do it to this day. But the, but hey, the floor's clean. It's like it's like <laughs> kicking ice under the fridge. What do you mean? When you spill ice, you kick it under the fridge. <laughs> A nice thing. <laughs> I mean, I don't do it anymore, but I used to do that, yeah. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't put it in the sink? No, if you drop the ice while you're like popping it, yeah, yeah. popping it, it pops Okay, out. well, it, it depends on how much ice comes like, out. You know? two, two or three cubes, you just kind of- <laughs> <laughs> Get it under, under there. Just kick it under. <laughs> just damage the floor, you know? <laughs> did your brother teach you that as well? No, I did that, I learned that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what you're gonna, well, that's what you're gonna teach your kid when, uh, yeah. when, when you get I hope one. my kid never watches Trash Taste. <laughs> son, five minute life hack, kick the ice. Yeah, this this is a that. Trash Taste life hack. This is like so. reverse life hacks of shit you shouldn't do. 
Oh you think I'm God. going to ruin Family Mart socks like that? Hell yeah, exactly. No. Come on. You're, you're going to put them in the wash after. No. That's because that's, that's that's they're white. If yeah. it's black, just I only have black socks. Well, I mean, that's your life yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, right? just buy black socks. Don't think. Does that mean you don't own Family Mart socks? No, I don't. I'm fine with not doing that. <laughs> I'm happy with my socks. I like <laughs> having black socks. I don't have to think. But if Family Mart brought out a black sock variant. Yeah, then you'd buy it. Okay, then. The Family Mart, I hope you're listening. <laughs> I mean, you do need some black socks. Yeah. Joey? Joey? What? Look, looking at you, Joey? What? I have black socks. <laughs> I don't know, you just never I wear just them. Never wear them. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, every picture that's been taken within like the past month, I see those fucking Family Mart socks poking out. I dead no ass. No matter the outfit. I no- dead ass have about <laughs> nine pairs of Family Mart <laughs> socks and I just cycle through it every <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> their, their poor supplier of socks is like working overtime. Dude, it's like, yeah. they're, they're, they're amazing. These poor factory uh, workers. Please working, bring out a black fairy. Working wait, wait, overtime okay, to wait. have to sustain Joey's sock demand. <laughs> wait, I, so I, I, I got a random, not, not a tangent, but just going back to like a random thing. Like, okay, I got to ask you. All right. So you hear something in the living room, right? Yeah. Maybe you're half asleep. How, yeah. do, how does Aki handle that? She's like, Go to the living room. <laughs> does she ask you to check it? Yeah. She's like, uh, <laughs> sweetie, can you go check it? I'm like, Woman, what the fuck? Why am I the one to go? <laughs> You're the one that's curious. You go. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I hate it, right? Because yeah. I'm not scared until they ask me to check, and yeah. I felt, I, I swear, like their fear gets like transferred over yeah. to me. Because I'm just, I'm yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Because I, like before cause, cause, that, I was I, like, I, you know, before that, I was just like, oh, I guess uh, I don't I, know, something knocked over in the. I guess room it's just something. a piece of wind, and then yeah. I hear Sydney. Go on, go on. I hear something in the. I hear something in the living room. Go on, go check it. Go on, and I'm like, Sydney, it's, it's probably nothing. Go on, I need you to go check it now. Yeah, I'm like, best. fuck me. Okay, n- n- now that I'm going to check, now I'm like, now and then I'm getting- Resident Evil music starts playing in my yeah. head. And I was like, oh my god, there's a zombie in the living room. Yeah, now. and then like, I have, I have to. If I'm going to check the living room, even if I know it's nothing. I have to find a possible weapon just in case, oh just God. just in case, just in case, you know, and I, I have to like find something that I can smack a possible animal or a person with yeah, yeah, just in just case. Just animal? <laughs> you I, I don't know, know what the fuck it can be. It could be a fucking smack smack an ghost. An if it's an animal, I'm near certain you would hear <laughs> a lot more noise. It would probably be breaking <laughs> Maybe it. Maybe they're sneaky, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I discovered the cockroach ever, from last ever, week. You ever like, uh, <laughs> you, did, did your houses have chimneys? No. You ever slept in a house with a chimney? No. They make a lot of noise. Do they? Yeah, like unsettling noises. Because how- Oh no, I, I, I have, oh, I have yeah. had, uh, I had, I did live in a house with a chimney as a kid and uh, uh, it was blocked up, but it still made like the- Oh, uh, when it's open, fuck the noises that those make are like fucking terrifying. Yeah, well, like, yeah. well, like, like a wolf howling all the time. Ooh. It's yeah. literally like the stereotypical ghost noise. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, it can be pretty scary sometimes. What remember. if it's not the wind? What if it's just a bunch of ghosts? Being it, like, could be, it could be. Yeah. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> it's, from, yeah. it's from all the ghosts from all the gants that got killed in bushes. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Oh. Hey, man, I need the statistics of how many people have been killed while pissing next to a bush, man. <laughs> I, probably, I, just, I just need to. Put my mind at bet, ease. I'm gonna bet that most of the deaths are from electric fences and then peeing on them or something. Yeah, probably something like that. Or or an animal coming out or something, you know, like a bear coming <laughs> animal out. Animal no, exactly. that's, 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 that's what I'm worried one about, one. Joey. I'm worried about a fucking animal coming out or something. You yeah, know? You'll hear it. You'll hear you'll it. Hear it. If it's, it's, if it's big enough to kill you, you will hear it. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not gonna be like that. Nah. Okay, yeah. but, but how do I distinguish between an animal ruffling the bushes and just the wind? Cause like, all, all, all no, I hear- Because the very, wind is very like, it's very different. It's very different. It's like a yeah, but like an animal is like, you, know. you will hear like, and you will see it violently moving. Yeah. You'll see it. Even though you're there, you'll, you'll see it like on the top. I, yeah. I don't know, man. Jurassic Park has told me different. <laughs> Jurassic Park ain't shit, come on. It's a great movie, but it ain't, it's not gonna like, give you any survival tips. What, you gonna- you gonna, I don't like, go out into the bush and think, oh shit, what if a velociraptor yeah, comes yeah, out like and like bites T-Rexes in Hokkaido? Yeah. <laughs> could be, could be. No. I'm, I'm used to England, man. We, we have nothing to be scared of in England. Or you Whenever watching in another Japanese country. Japanese policemen randomly stopping you in the middle of a field asking you to be checked, <laughs> as opposed to- I have an arrestal if you're a Japanese policeman coming out of the bush and be like, oh, oh, you can't be here. You have a more chance of a Japanese policeman stopping you from peeing in a bush than you do from an animal or something killing you. You I'd rather get arrested than uh, violently murdered by an animal, man. That's that's all I'm saying. You don't want to be caught with your dick down and a flashlight standing on you. you That is not what you want. (laughs) That is true. And uh, that's been our irrational fears on Trash Day Today.